It's been more than 24 hours since Rishi Sunak announced he would stand down as Conservative leader following his election defeat. But it's fair to say that so far there's been no stampede of candidates to replace him. Lewis Warner is at Conservative headquarters in Westminster for us. Lewis, any potential candidates seem to be keeping their heads down at the moment? Yeah, nobody's fired the starting gun on this leadership race just yet. There's about 121 uh, Tory MPs. It's said about a handful of them are said to be weighing up their options. There are, of course, those on the right of the party who'd like to see it move more in that direction in chase of those uh, Reform UK voters. Uh, but one of those is the uh, former Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, who we saw in the programme just a moment ago. Uh, she said just this week that the Conservatives who attack Nigel Farage are like the patient berating the doctor for for the illness, suggesting she wants to see uh, the party move in that direction. Today, though, to be fair, she was rather coy about her ambitions. Are you going to be the next Tory party no leader? announcements. We've just no. got to take our time. We've got to think, figure out what's happening. Are you up to the challenge? I'm sure it'll be quite a difficult job. It's been a really bad result. There's no two ways about it. Hundreds of excellent Tory MPs have um, been kicked out of office. So what about those on the other side of the party? Well, the man who was until yesterday Chancellor of the Exchequer, Jeremy Hunt, today reportedly ruled himself out of this race. It's a race he knows a lot about, having uh, run in it and failed twice. Uh, the others in this race who are considering it and maybe really thinking about whether they want to get into what can be at times a brutal battle of ideas, really uh, leading divisions. Uh, when will this all happen? Well, uh, party grandees are expected to meet uh, next week to decide on the process. In the meantime, Rishi Sunak, remember him, uh, says he'll remain in position until the process for selecting his successor is decided.